Hey guys, Tarko Cyclone FPV, and we got another Cadex Vista repair. I think this is a UFL, that's what my wife has told me, so let's get started and see what we got going on. Um, I have stopped really, not stopped doing UFL repairs, but I have tried to convince people to just do the um, antenna extension instead because we're seeing the UFLs. I mean, people who break them tend to break them again, and so, and we can't really cover that. And so, um, you know, I mean, I didn't design this thing, and if if the manufacturer's UFL doesn't stay on, there's no reason to expect that mine would stay on any better. I mean, I'm using the same equipment, uh, the same uh, same stuff. So anyways, so <clears throat> we're going to see on this one. I'm going to take a look at it. We'll use the microscope to show you guys what we're looking at. Uh, let's go ahead and just take the top off of this first. See where we're at. Okay. All right, so under the microscope, you will see the following mess. Okay. So here is where the Vista, uh, here's where the UFL is broken, right there. So the ground, these two pads to solder it to, and then all the way over here under this little itty bitty thing that they've put this rubber crap on uh, is where we need to connect. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, a lot of you have seen this, me work on these already, so it's not anything new, but those of you that haven't, there's a few things I wanna do here. Um, one of them is gonna be to trace the wire or the connection here. And so one of the things we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here with something like one of these little pens here, and we're just gonna scrape some of this off, okay? Gently, very gently, until we reveal a little copper there. There it is. Okay, perfect. So you get a little bit more out of it. Okay. Now what we want to do, we want to get to that one. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. See that top one right here? That's where we want, right there, okay? So now, let's do a continuity test. Okay. Okay. So perfect, so we need that right there, just that little piece, not that. And you can see how close they are. So we want this one here, not this one, okay? And so that is the trick. Let's see what we got, all right. So first things first, uh, probably should go with a smaller tip on the soldering iron, so soldering iron's already on. So let me just go ahead, while it's on, let me flip it off, but I don't want to wait for it to cool down because that just takes too much time. So I'm just going to try to remove it like this. Well, it's hot. If you don't believe me, you'll see it's still melting solder, okay? So just gotta be careful. Okay, turn that on, wait for that to heat up, uh, the tip of that soldering iron.
Tip is ready to go. And now we gotta be very careful not to put solder on that second line that you see, only the first line. So the one to the left, meaning, you see I don't wanna take this off camera, but this one only, not that one, just this one, okay? So what we're gonna do, very carefully. You see? Yep. There it is. And that is a very small area. You see, yeah, that's where we want to be, right there. Then, I'm going to take a small wire. like that and we're going to twist this as best as we can okay so when it's all twisted up nice like that it's a very small area we're going to get the flux pen get this done and then we're going to tin it Just like that. Now let's bring back the Vista and this time we'll turn it this way because we need to see how much how this wire is going to fit. Excellent. Okay. It's not tinned perfectly yet. You can see where the tip of this wire is breaking off kind of. We want to make sure that it's solid. go that looks better let's bring this back let's go get our ufl Mama, do you know what the ufls are uh, they right well, that's what i thought but i don't oh no hold on are these they're with the usbs okay yeah yeah, yeah i got it thank you okay so we're going to take a couple of these ufls I don't always get it in the first shot, so I'm going to take a couple of these out. I'll take three out just in case. Put the rest back in the box. Put them away. Okay, now let's get back to business. So, these UFLs have to be prepped. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Some of you have already seen this, so if you have, sorry, but some of you have asked me to show you, so I'm going to show you. So first thing we're going to do is going to remove these little suckers from their pouch and they will fly away from you very quickly okay they're very light very small there's one right there try to cover the light so you can see it a little bit that's what it looks like try to focus as best i can but i'm afraid that with all the glare you're not going to get a better picture right now no anyways okay so let's see if i'm gonna block some of the light there at least of course not. Um, 
How about with this box? Does that help you? I don't know where the light's coming from. There we go. Okay, so I think the light's coming from this side here, which is going to make it almost impossible for me to do because I've got to work on this thing. So screw it. I'll just have to deal with it. But on, on this, you're going to see, and I'll grab this so you can see it, see if I can raise this up for you guys. Uh, on this, you will see that there is... Uh, Okay, so what you have, you have one gold strip that's coming up here, then you got one on each side, and this is where it's going to be soldered here and here. This is where it's going to be soldered to the board. This is going to attach to that little wire that we just created. So the first step, and you got to be careful because this thing will go flying right out of this. First step is to get this tinned up and ready to go. So what we're going to do is very carefully try to focus sorry guys I'm not I'm trying to keep it focused for you at the same time there okay I will try my best to keep it focused but main thing is there's one and there's two you have to be careful because it will melt this very quickly. Now that that's ready, you need to come and get the pads ready here. All right, so what we wanna do here is we just wanna take our flux pen, just put a very small amount. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm gonna take the UFL, turn it over, and try to put it in a spot, and use, where's my needle? Oh hell, I don't know where I put my needle. I need to find the needle. Use a push pin is what I meant. So we're gonna grab this push pin. Need to find something that's really small to hold this in place. So this is a push pin, like a sewing, whatever people use things to hold stuff in place. So I'm gonna try to get it to stay somewhat still, just like that. Perfect. Once you get one side done, you can come over, heat up the other side. Then you can just do that a few times just to make sure you've got a good, uh, good spot here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back over this a couple more times, put some solder on it. Okay, that's on there pretty good. Okay, so we've got it on there on both sides very well. I'll take this one back just a little bit more. Okay. And I need to remove this. Okay. The 
before I do anything else, let me just make sure I can get this to snap on. Okay, so now I've got to try to remove the excess solder. There we go. Fits perfect, antenna fits on well. Doesn't pull off when we pulled it off, so we know that's on there solid. So now, the last part is gonna be to get this little piece here, whatever little piece you can see, to sit on this right here and not touch this, cop this copper right here, okay? So this is where it gets a little tricky, so bear with me. I'll try to keep this on video while I do it. Um, but here it goes. Actually, I'll be right back. I need to get the paste for this one because that's a pretty tight fit and I don't think I have any paste here. Give me one second. Okay, sorry guys, I had to get my solder paste. Here it is, and I got some new flat needles in. So, and guys, we sell this by the way, so if you need any, just let me know. All right, so we're gonna see if this solder paste will go through this small needle. That's the big, that's the question right there. Because it's a very fine, I think it's a 20, 25 gauge needle tip, which is gonna be very difficult, but let's see. It feels like it's going. All right, before I get crazy with this, let me uh, tin it up real good. Well, let me see if I can get this solder piece to go through. May not fit through a 25 gauge needle, darn it. Just a real pain. You see right there. So let's so touch that. Ooh, it's tiny. Okay. Now let's hope. Okay, that looks good. So now if we can get this wire. Okay.
Oh, it looks like we got our connection. So let's see. <coughs> Here goes. Right? Here's what we want to see. We'll take our continuity test. First thing we want to do is make sure that we have no continuity between the center pin and the outside. Okay, sorry, I'm, the reason that's happening is because my pin keeps slipping. Here's the center pin. <laughs> Good, center pin and ground has no continuity. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have continuity from the center pin to here. And we do. So we have no continuity we have from the outside to the ground. We have no continuity from the ground to the to the wire here. We've got continuity from the center to there. And we have bypassed and jumped over this little area right here. This is perfect. It was a pain, but it's perfect. And this could not have gone any better, to be honest with you. Uh, very happy with that outcome. So uh, let me now go ahead and close this up. Uh, this is uh, going to be an excellent... Uh, Customer's gonna be very happy. I'm gonna close up the uh, solder paste. This is awesome. I'm gonna close up this. And what we're gonna do now is now we're gonna get the silicone. And you know what? Um, I wanna get another one of those. Oh my gosh, my phone. You guys, will you guys cut it out? Yeah. Don't tell him you're doing it too. Hey, babe. Throw me, a, uh, no, throw it. Yeah, just throw it. Another one of those yellow needle tips, please. Okay. Whenever you're ready, babe. Well, I not do that. That's fine. Try to get it close to me. Oh, you gotta come over here? Ready? No. I don't. What do you think? I got one more? You need one of those grabber things. We need just like a spike. That's true. All right, let's go ahead, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and silicone this in so that it cannot. Now, I don't know if the silicone goes through this, so let me test it on something, because once this crab gets on you, it's impossible to get off. So let's just take a napkin here and see. Oh, it will. Oh my God, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great, because now I can really. So let me show you what we're gonna do so you get an idea. Ready? And. Let's go back here. Okay, well, I need silicone to stop for just a minute. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put it, and we're going to make sure. Perfect. Now, what we want to also do is make sure that we didn't just push the wire down. So we're gonna do another continuity test. Let me show you what this looks like. Sorry, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna do another continuity test. We're perfect. It came out great. So we're gonna wait and go ahead and put this top on. Oops, like this, sorry, my bad. because that's gonna push down and I wanna make sure that we don't have any continuity then. You gotta always test these things, okay? So, perfect. This could not have gone any better, guys. This, this did really well. I'm really excited about that. I don't think this needle's gonna fit in here to close this off. So, oh yeah, it does. Perfect. That'll be how we close it up. Okay, so, uh, it took, what, 26 minutes? Yeah, but that's just because we're goofing off. All right, so there we go. We've got another Caddx repair that was good. Uh, and we will let this dry, and then we'll get it to the customer. We should be very happy. All right, guys. So that pretty much uh, pretty much wraps it up. That's another. That's three or four Caddx repairs today alone. Uh, we're staying very busy on the Caddx side of things. Um, let me just find my glasses. Now we got more RMAs to do, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, please, please. It's right there. I don't know. Y'all know how to do this. I don't know. Um, and uh, always stop on by our Facebook group. It's right there. The address is below. And other than that, God bless. Be safe and go spend time with your family, guys. Never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.